Well, holy smokes, everyone. What another wild day it was today in the markets. And in today's video, we're gonna go over what happened in the markets, was I wrong, what's at the bottom, and are we about to go in a crazy bull cycle, or is this a bull trap, and are we about to head even lower? Well, everyone, let's not waste any time. Let's get straight into it. Look at this, everyone. Stocks rally to end January, but this is still the worst month since March 2020. So first things first, even though we have seen a rebound over the past couple of days, this still is the worst month uh, for the S&P 500 since March 2020. And we were on track in the NASDAQ to have the worst month since 2009. So, okay, so let's have a look at exactly what happened. We can see here the Dow was up 400 points, up 1.1%. The S&P 500 did even better, up 1.8%. And the NASDAQ that has got hit hardest the most, we've seen the NASDAQ and the tech stocks had a huge uh, recovery today, up 3.4%. But this kind of volatility isn't normal, and it's telling me the markets are not sure which direction to take yet. And look at this, everyone. Brent crude hit $91.29 today. So this is going to be more pressure on inflation. And gold recovered today up about $12 an ounce, and it did hit $1,800. And like what we normally see when gold recovers we normally see silver uh, recover a bit more as well that's up 0.8 percent and we continue to see more and more how correlated bitcoin is uh, with the nasdaq high flying uh, growth tech stocks bitcoin is up now to thirty-eight thousand four hundred dollars up around 1.9 percent so it looked like really everything was up today so a high tide lifts all boats and what was behind the everything rally that we saw well, this everyone, the DXY, the US dollar index. Now, like I've been talking about, when the dollar rises, assets fall. But then again, in reverse, when the dollar crashes, asset prices are going to rise as well, especially commodities and Bitcoin. Listen to this. Despite the two-day relief rally, the S&P 500 and the NASDAQ Composite posted their worst month since the offset of the pandemic as investors brace for the Federal Reserve to raise interest rate multiple times this year. Now, something that I think could be contributing to this rally is maybe investors with the recent economic data that we've got recently, we've seen consumer spending is down, consumer confidence is down, our wage growth is starting to slow. Maybe investors are starting to think that, you know what, the Federal Reserve has been too late to the party, the damage has already been done to inflation, and they're not going to lift interest rates as much as they said. And a lot of these rate hikes have already now been priced in. And we can see this chart here that shows us this is the biggest decline uh, since March of 2020, down 5.3%. And quickly, some of the big gainers say Netflix and Spotify surged more than 11% and 13% respectively on upgrades from Citi. But Netflix is still down 30% this month and Spotify down 16%. Tesla as well, we've got a lot of people that are very bullish on Tesla no matter how high the price goes. Uh, Tesla, which dropped 11% in January, it gained more than 10% today after Credit Suisse gave it an upgrade. And it was really green across the board with Rivian and Lucid adding about 15% and 8% respectively as well. Nvidia climbed 7%, but it is still down 16% over the month. And so outside of the tech sector, Boeing uh, was a top gainer for the Dow, up 5% after it won a deal with Qatar Airways worth 34 billion. But everyone, what you're probably wanting to know is, is this a return to all time highs or is this a dead cap bounce or a bull trap? Well, like I've been saying, it's not gonna be a straight decline to the bottom. We're gonna have a lot of volatility, a lot of relief rallies, but still, even with the recent declines, the stock market is still hugely overvalued. But at the end of the day, it's all going to come down to if the Federal Reserve will actually do what they say. And I'm starting to get the feeling like maybe they're going to flip. Maybe they're going to find some excuse in March or April not to lift interest rates as much as they said. Or maybe they'll only do one or two interest rate hikes. But like what we're seeing with the economic data, with slowing economy, with consumer debt at all-time highs, with government debt at all-time highs, with spending down, I think they're going to reverse course. And I think maybe the markets are thinking this as well. But everyone, that was just a quick update with what happens in the markets today. Just some of my thoughts and opinions. We're a community here. You let me know your thoughts down below. Now, for all my loyal viewers and subscribers still watching, you're awesome. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.